excuse me. Uh, I'm Vatic. Uh, Dr. John Vatic. Ah, uh, finally. Colonel Joshua Stark, U.S. Marines. Good to meet you, Colonel. This way, Dr. Vatic. Thanks. Call me John. Uh, so, uh, what's all this about? Look, uh, I'm glad to be of help, but one day's notice is barely enough time for me We're to get out. We're out of time, Dr. Vatic. Can you handle a sidearm? They said my role was strictly advisory. Then advise yourself to get some weapons training. My squad doesn't nurse made tourists. I'm in a squad now? We'll explain it all at the briefing. 1800 hours. Be there. Okay, military training. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I guess I should find okay, someone Dr. who knows Betty. what's going on. The Colonel thinks you could do with some physical training before you're given a firearm. I'm Cotelli, comms expert. Follow me and we'll see what kind of shape you're in. some basics. Firstly, some simple climbing. Watch me and follow over these walls. Just walk into and over. It's that easy. Good work. Keep it up, Vatic. <clears throat> Excellent. You may be a pen pusher, <clears throat> but it looks like you keep yourself in good shape. <clears throat> well done. Okay, through here and on to the next area. Jackson will continue your training. Then, Vatic, get yourself over here. Use your head, Vatic. Let's see if you can get around this problem. <laughs> okay, let's see that upper body strength. Make your way along the edge. Over here, Dr. Vatic. <sighs> right, Jackson's the name. Let's get to work. You proved you can climb walls, but what about using cover? Lean against the wall of this block. Now, move along the wall. Try leaning out and peeking around the corner. Good. Now, try peeking and push into the corner. You should move around onto the next wall. Practice this technique by making your way completely around the block. Okay, crouch whilst against the wall to use the cover. You'll move slower when crouching like this. Right, hide and seek. Get to the other side of the end block and try to sneak back past me to the tunnel entrance. Okay, here goes. Hmm, not bad. Of course I knew where you were but felt like it was time to let you move on. Okay, well, make your way through these pipes.
Looks like there's hope for you yet. Go see JC at the rifle range to continue your training. All right, I hear you're finally ready for your pistol training. Come on, this way. First of all, I want to show you how to aim your weapons. Take this pistol and aim it at the indicated target in front of you. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. All right, so that's how you lock on to and cycle your aiming between individual targets. Next, we'll look at fine-tuning your aiming. Okay, lock on to indicated target as before. Good. Now, gently adjust your aim until you're pointing at the head region on the target. Excellent! That's it! Now you know how to aim a firearm. Of course, knowing how to aim is pointless without knowing how to fire. Luckily, firing is the easy part. Just keep your aim steady and I squeeze the trigger. Here, take this ammo and fire it all into the range. Practice everything I just showed you. We'll continue on once your gun's empty. There you go! Feels good, huh? Alright, now it's time to put all this to the test. Take these bullets and see how many of these targets you can hit. You'll get bonus points for head impacts. You're going to need 250 points before I let you proceed with your training. Get into position and wait for my signal to start. Go! was a great performance. Keep that up on the field and you'll be very useful. We'll continue your training in the next room. So follow me through. Okay, here's what to do. There will be a number of hostiles taking up strategic positions in this room. You'll need to use cover if you want to beat them. Crouch behind a barrier and stealth against it, like Dex showed you before. Good. Now try leaning out with your gun raised to acquire a target. You can lean left, right, or even up over the barrier. Different targets will be easier to hit from different shooting positions. Okay, now we're ready to start. Each hostile will take three hits from your training weapon before they give up. The lights on the barrier will indicate how many hits each has taken. You'll fail and have to try again if you sustain too many hits, so be careful. All right, get into position and wait for my signal. Three, two, one, go! Looks like your determination finally paid off, Attic. 
I'm impressed. All right, let's move on to the next phase of your training. Come on, follow me. Okay, Varric, make your way to the compound gate. This time, you'll need to shoot your way through. You don't have to run and gun, though. Remember your stealth training. It might be better to choose your shots carefully and keep the situation under control. Don't worry about being shot. These test starts sting a bit, but they're harmless. If you're taking too many hits, I'll call you back. Just remember, the real enemy don't fire blanks, and neither do we. Take this seriously, and you'll do okay. Shot. Well done, Varric. Looks like you learned something. Franklin wants to see you back at the firing range. Don't keep her waiting. Hello, Dr. Varric. I'm Franklin. I'm here to show you how to handle a sniper rifle. Come this way. You've been here previously, so you already know what to expect. It's pretty much the same as before, except for one main difference. This time around, you'll be practicing your long-distance skills. So take this sniper rifle and get yourself into position. You'll need 250 points to satisfy me, and as before, bonus points will be awarded for headshots. All right, get ready. Go!
Nice work. I'm impressed. Well, that concludes your training, Doctor. It's time we headed to the briefing room for the lowdown on our mission. Come with me. It has expressed some concern that his research could be a threat in the wrong hands. We've managed to verify his identity as Victor Grianko, seen here studying in St. Petersburg, where after boasting he would revolutionize psychology, he was kicked out for unethical practices. Nine years later, he found a happy home with the Germans, running experiments into psychic phenomena at a POW camp on the Belo-Russian border. In 1944, the Red Army liberated the camp and claimed that Grianko was killed in the assault. However, rumors soon surfaced of a research project initiated by Stalin in Western Siberia, which ties in nicely with his recent appearances at the U.S. hydrocar pipeline being built outside Tiumen Oblast. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to go and find out what Professor Grienko has been researching for the past 50 years, and why he's so desperate to be granted political asylum. Colonel. Thank you, sir. The Pentagon has given us permission for a small team insertion. The Winter Ice Squad will drop here at Tiumen Oblast, just 30 clicks from the hydrocar pipeline. From there, we will track down Grianko and his research. Any questions? Yeah. Are you crazy? No, Dr. Vatty. Any other questions? How did the U.S. approve anything so politically risky? That's classified. Well, then how did you confirm psychic research? Also classified. Then why do you want me here? We <sighs> down. Our advisor tells us we may need your expertise on the ground. Okay, well, my expertise says that it's a fraud. I debunk psychics, I don't confirm them. Perhaps you never met a real one. Meet Jane Wilde, Dr. Vatty. Uh, I know who she is. She's a mystic. She's a fake. She's your advisor? Hello, John. Good to see you again. Every time I publish, your special advisor attacks my work for being straightjacketed by the scientific method. Doesn't the scientific method call for weighing evidence before drawing a conclusion? Exactly. Then how do you know Grianko is a fraud? Why? Well, I... I'm not going to Siberia. A pity. Because no one else can save us. <laughs>